वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन इक्वेलेंट इम्पिडेंस कैलकुलेशन एंड दैट इज वॉट वी विल डू इट बाई यूजिंग लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नाउ सी इन दिस टू एग्जाम्पल्स आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ट्रिक बाई विच वी कैन कैलकुलेट इक्वेलेंट इम्पिडेंस राइट and if you have such complex questions which i'm going to place it over here in this video and if you solve it that by conventional way then it will take huge time by conventional way right so what i want is you should see these two examples carefully so let us see the first question so if you observe here we are having question in which if the impedance of network given below is z of s that is this then the value of r is how much so here you see we are given with one network and its impedance is z of s that is given by this now what i have seen is what students does is they convert this circuit in laplace domain and then they want to calculate z of s and then they think as if they compare this z of s with this then they will be having value of r yes my dear students that is one way but that will take lots of time so what you need to do is you need to understand what is the meaning of this capacitor and inductor and how you can apply final condition and initial conditions right so just see this carefully what i am doing over here so if i say that if s is going towards zero right then what will happen you see limit s tends to 0 z of s will be how much so when s is going towards 0 z of s if you substitute s is equals to 0 in this you see 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 so that will be 1 only so z of s value that will be 1 right now what is the meaning of s tends to 0 first of all so let us try to understand that if s tends to 0 is there then you see what will happen with inductor so inductance impedance that is l into s right now if s tends to 0 this l into s that will also tends to 0 and as if xl is tends to 0 what you can say inductor is short circuited now what will happen with capacitor capacitance impedance that is xc that is 1 by sc so if s tends to 0 1 by s tends to infinite so what is the meaning of it it means here capacitor that will act as a open circuit so see if you consider s tends to 0 we have z of s that is 1 in which inductor will be short circuited and capacitor will be open circuited so in that situation if you observe this circuit then you see this inductor that is short circuited first then we have this resistor that is r now you see this capacitor that is open circuit so i don't need to connect it over here now this inductor is short circuited so this much part is getting short circuited and here i am having z of s so i can say z of s that is equals to r and that is 1 so simply that is how we can have the value of unknown resistor right let me give you one more interesting example so that will resolve your understanding furthermore so if you observe here in question if the impedance of network is given below and that is z of s that is given by this equation and we are dealing with to find the value of r for this network which is having impedance z of s that is this now again we will do same thing in which you see if you consider s is going towards zero what will happen in that case limit s tends to zero z of s that will be how much you see that will be 0 plus 0 plus 16 divided by 0 plus 0 plus 2 so that will be 16 divided by 2 and that will be 8 now what is the meaning of this here we have capacitor in this circuit 
So if S is going towards 0, then capacitive impedance that is 1 by SC and that will go towards infinite. What it means? Capacitor that should be open circuited and here we don't have inductor so we will not check it for that. Right. Now if capacitor is open circuited, right, then if you see the circuit then what will happen you see. Here we are having 3 ohm resistor, then we are having R resistor, then we are having 1 ohm resistor, right. And you see here this capacitors are open circuited so I am not connecting it over here, right. And you can say this is what Z of S, right. Now for this situation we have calculated Z of S that is 8 and that is equals to how much? 3 plus R plus 1. So that will gives you R is equals to 8 minus 4. So that will be 4 ohm, right. So that is how we can identify value of equivalent impedance, right. Sometimes what happens, you know, like if you have been given that circuits are having some elements, and in that the element which you want to calculate will get short circuited, right. So in that case what you will be doing? So in that case my dear students you can consider S tends to infinite. And what will happen in that situation? Just think about this. As if you consider S tends to infinite, in that case inductor will act as a open circuit and capacitor will act as a short circuit, right. And then you can calculate same thing, right. So what I mean to say is you just see the question. It is not like every time you just consider S tends to 0 then inductor act as a short circuit, capacitor act as a open circuit. Sometimes what happens unknown quantity may get cancelled in the circuit. So in that situation you will have to think in reverse way. In that now you should calculate Z of S where S tends to infinite and now you just see whether unknown quantity is getting eliminated or not. So that is what the concern that you should keep in your mind. I hope you have understood this. See questions will get repeated, right. But pattern will change. It is not like same question will be coming in your examination. You will have to understand this, right. I hope you have understand this whatever I have explained in this video. And probably that is helping you to understand how we can solve questions based on equivalent impedance. 